Hello, everyone. Welcome to Stay at Home Storytime. My name is Julia, and I'm the librarian at the Philomath Library. Even though we can't be together in person for story time at the library, I'm so glad that we can still share stories and songs together with stay at home story time videos like this. So one of the songs that I like to get started with in story time at the library is called The More We Get Together. And we need to learn some sign language for this song. So the first sign that we need to learn is the sign for more. And it goes like this. The next sign that we need to learn is the sign for together. So you put your fists together like this and we move them in a circle. When we have story time together at the library, we usually kind of sit in a circle. So that's how I like to remember that sign. And then the next sign that we need to learn is the sign for happy. Just like that, you kind of tickle your tummy. And tickling kind of makes you laugh, which makes you happy. Another way that you can show people that you're happy is by smiling. Can you show me a big smile? And then the last sign that we need to learn is the sign for friends. So I like to describe it by saying, take your two little friends and they give each other a hug. So this is the sign for friends. Your friends are my friends. And my friends are your friends. All right, so we have more, together, happy, and friends. All right, you ready to sing our song? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. One more time. Ready? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. All right, it makes me so happy that I get to sing and share stories with you all. So the story I'm going to share with you today is called Bear Sees Colors. I love all of the colors that we can see in our world, especially outside right now during the springtime. <clears throat> this book was written by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman, and I'm sharing it with you today with the permission of Simon and Schuster uh, Children's Books. Mouse and Bear are walking. They are chitter chatter talking. So much for them to do. And the bear sees blue. This is the color blue. What blue things do we see on this page? Blue flowers by the trail, blue berries, blue pale. Blue, blue everywhere. Can you spy blue? with bear. I see lots of blue things. There's a blue fish and blue water. There's a blue dragonfly. Lots of things. Do you see anything blue in your room? I see blue curtains in here and a blue pillow in my room. All right, ready for our next color? Along the trail hops hair. Howdy ho there, mouse and bear. Hair points up ahead. And the bear sees, hmm, what could our next color be? Red. Look at all of those red things to see. Red blossoms. Red cherries. There's the cherries. Oh, cherries on the tree. Red juicy raspberries. Red, red everywhere. Can you spy red with bear? I see a red watering can, some red mushrooms, and lots of red flowers and berries. All right, let's see what he sees next. 
badgers at the pond with his old galoshes on. Galoshes are another word for rain boots. Look there, badger bellows. And the bear sees, can you guess what color we might see on the next page? Maybe there's some clues here. It rhymes with bellows. Yellow. Oh, bright, sunny yellow. Drippy, sticky, oh, so yummy. Honeycombs with yellow honey. Yellow, yellow everywhere. Can you find it just like bear? There's the yellow honeycomb and the bees, which are black and yellow. There's some yellow flowers. What else yellow can you see on that page? Let's see what's next. Gophers out with mole. They're on a little stroll. Stroll is another word for going for a walk. Bear spots them by the stream. And the bear sees. Can you guess what color we might see next? There's usually a clue. Green. Oh, green is one of my favorite colors. It's the color of my sweater that I'm wearing today. Green mint for making tea. Green and tasty sweet peas. Green, green everywhere. Can you spy green with bear? Lots of green things to see on the page. Do you see anything else in the room that might be green? I see a plant behind me that's green and my sweater, of course. Do you see anything green in your room? They have green mugs, green mint, green apples, and a little green worm. Raven, owl, and wren lay a picnic in the glen. The friends all gather round, and the friends see brown. Oh, chocolate cake, mm, yummy. Brown and sweet, brown cookies, such a treat. Brown eyes, brown hair. I have brown eyes and hair, do you have brown eyes and hair? Friendly, fluffy, brown bear. That's right. The bear that we've been seeing in our book is brown. Colors, colors everywhere. Can you find colors just like bear? Oh, I see lots of the colors that we've been talking about on this page. There's brown bear and brown cake. There's yellow and red on the blanket. And blue, there's blue fish. Green peas, red berries, yellow flowers, red bird, green apples. So many colors to see. The end. All right, my friends, that's about all the time I have for today. So I'm gonna wave goodbye and we'll see you next time.